So welcome to your third Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use message boxes and what a message box is is it's basically like an alert box that will appear and it will say something in it and you might have an OK button or a yes no button or a cancel button or a close button something like that so that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial and I've just taken the form that we had in the previous tutorial deleted everything on from it and renamed it as my form again if you want to do that just click on the form and you can change the text in the properties window so in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a button and when that button is pressed I want the alert I want the message box to show so you can just drag in a button here and resize it how you like and then I'm going to change the text of this to click me for the greeting since I'm, only, I'm going to be putting the words hello world inside this message box so there's that so remember in the previous tutorial I said we can double click on a control to, res to see its code for, to see its code sorry so double click on it and here you see the code it's already been put in there for some reason already but ignore that and in here we can put any code that will run when button 1 is clicked so in here we're going to put message box and then dot and then show and then put the brackets and in, notice how when we were doing that we had we have this little box that appears with a whole lot of controls that we can use so we've got all controls that will work sorry all um, slots of code that can work with this or we've got the most common one and the most common one is show and then we can put open bracket, close bracket, and then sp in speech marks, we can put hello world. And then if we run this and click the button, we get this message box that says hello world. Now, if we press OK and close that, so now we can also add some other things to this. So you put comma, and then we can put uh, we can put the header text so this text that goes up here so put another two speech marks and we can put header text and then so if I run this again press the button hello world header text press ok close that we can put another thing so we put a comma and we can set the buttons that are on it so I'm going to set this to retry cancel. Run that again. Click on the button. Hello world, header text, retry cancel. So close that. And one more thing that we can put, another comma. And then we can put the icon that shows up. So we've got asterisk, error, exclamation, hand, information, none, question, stop, warning. So you can play around with these, see what they all look like. I'm going to choose error and then run again. Click the button, header text, hello world, and we've got this crosshair, retry, cancel. Notice how I only put text. So in, the, in programming, this is known as a string. So like text that appears is known as a string. So this is a string, so it goes inside of question mark inside of um, speech marks sorry this is a string so it goes inside of speech marks this one and this one they aren't strings they're just kind of chunks of code and so we don't put those in speech marks so that's how to do message boxes in Visual Basic don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial